if you have hooded eyes, you'd want to watch this. What happens when you apply blue eyeshadow on hooded eyes? Now that's called magic. Today I'm going to be showing you the unbelievable effect of blue eyeshadow on hooded eyes. So if you're ready, let's begin. <music> First, let's quickly fill in the brows. I'm using a brown eyeshadow to go over the lower part of the brows with an angled brush. This is from the new nudes collection from Real Techniques. Using the Milani concealer in the shade 145, which is warm beige, I'm going to quickly clean up on my lid and under the brows. Now, what are hooded eyes or partially hooded eyes? All you have to do is look straight in the mirror and try to look at your lids. How much of it can you see? If you can't see much of your lid, then if you apply makeup over your lid, you won't be able to see that either because there's that extra skin just resting on top of your lid, which we call the hood. While every eye shape is beautiful in its own way, including hooded eyes, I find it very sexy. There are ways to work with makeup for every eye shape. And with hooded eyes, we almost create a pseudo crease that settles over the natural crease line to help make the lid space appear bigger so we can see more of that makeup when applied on the lid. Having said that, let's start with a fabulous eyeliner technique using the same angled brush that I used to fill in my brows. It's pretty simple. Using black eyeshadow, I'm going to extend my lower lash line and join it to my top lash line in the outer corner. Which means I'm going to go over that extra skin in the outer corner or the extension of that hood. And because I went over that extra skin, when I lift my eyelid, you can see that blank space. So I'm going to simply join it. And then using some more black eyeshadow, I'm going to make that wing thicker. And it's completely okay if you mess up that wing because we'll be smoking it out anyway. And if you want to know how big we should make the wing, you can make it as big or as small as you want. Next, I'm taking a small smudging brush and I'm going to smudge this wing out. It helps to smudge before you smoke it because smudging will ease out some of that eyeshadow by applying tension and then you can use a larger blending brush to smoke it out. A fine tip that I've learned with hooded eyes is to use a black eyeshadow to outline your eyeliner before you go with the eyeliner itself because eyeshadows are softer and more forgiving. Now I'm using a blending brush to smoke this out and make it even more softer. I would normally go with a clean blending brush. I have a little bit of residue of a brown eyeshadow that I used earlier on this one. It's okay, you can do that as well. You can use a little bit of brown eyeshadow and blend it out with the black. And that'll give you a beautiful ombre of black and brown. If you just want black eyeshadow, use a clean brush. And if you feel like the eyeshadow is not intense enough, you can add a little bit more eyeshadow and layer up till you're happy with the intensity. I like to begin softer. Now, because that eyeliner is smoked out, it's not interfering with the fold of the hood. So it doesn't look distorted. Now is when I start building up the intensity. So I'm taking a little bit more of that black eyeshadow with the same angled brush and I'm going to use it in the very outer corner of both my upper as well as lower lash lines. And then I'm going to lightly smudge it so it blends in with the smoked out black eyeshadow seamlessly. So that'll give you a liner that's darkest at the lash line and as it moves upward and outward onto your hood, it'll become lighter and lighter so it won't interfere with the fold of the hood and it'll slowly melt into your skin tone. And now for the third and final time, I'm taking more of that black eyeshadow. With the angled brush, I'm going to use it in the very outer corner of my upper and lower lash lines. But this time, the difference is I'm not going to smudge it out. Now that'll give you an eyeliner that's extremely forgiving on hooded eyes. Let me show you what a normal eyeliner can look like on hooded eyes because it interferes with the fold of the hood. This is how it looks. It looks distorted. And this is how our eyeliner is looking right now. 
And yes, you can use a black eye pencil in your waterline even if you have hooded eyes. I'm using the Aqua Resist Pencil by Makeup Forever. Next, I'm going to be using a blue eyeshadow from the So Jaded palette. This is from Colourpop and it has some lovely colors in here. I'm going to be using this deep blue shade called Sapphire. You see how it is deep, but it's not black. It's a blue. I'm going to simply apply it throughout my lower lash line with another angled brush. They call navy blue the new black. If you look at any runway shows in the near past, people have used more blue eyeliners than black. That's because that pop of color draws attention. Blue especially is vibrant and eye-catching and it makes your eye color stand out. When I say eye color, I mean any eye color including blue eyes. And you can see how that brown in my eyes suddenly popped. And that all of a sudden takes away the focus from the hood on the lids. And for that reason, this can be especially flattering on hooded eyes. To add to this look, I'm going to be using a stunning baby blue pressed glitter on my lids. This is called Opal and you don't need an adhesive. You can go directly with the glitter because it's pressed glitter. So you just press it on your lids like eyeshadow. And then using pearl, I'm going to highlight my inner corner and brow bone. So I'm going to use it as a pop of highlight. Time to finish up. So I'm going to first curl my lashes. And for mascara, I'm going to be using the Lancome Lash Idol. Um, is that how you say it? I Idol? Mascara helps with lifting and volumizing and lengthening. And because it has that curved wand, it also helps with curling your lashes. I'm not going to be using false lashes. You can if you want to. But if you do, try to use something that wings out and doesn't cover up your lid space. And here is the finished eye look. See those browns in my eyes pop. That's what I'm talking about. Blue adds a beautiful contrast to your natural eye color. Even if you have a blue eye color, you can use navy blue eyeshadow to add a contrast to it. On another note, blue eyeshadow can create the illusion of a larger and more open eye area. So if you have hooded eyes, I would urge you to try the style and let me know how it worked out for you. I'll wait to hear from you in the comment section and all you need is a little bit of blue eyeshadow and a little bit of skill. Speaking about skills, let me introduce you to Skillshare. It's an online learning community worth exploring. Have you ever desired to learn something unique or fascinating? Well, now you can by enrolling in online classes at Skillshare.com where skilled instructors just like myself offer a variety of courses. I recently uploaded a masterclass on the fundamentals of special effects makeup just in time for the spooky season. So what are you waiting for? Because Skillshare offers a wide array of online courses, everything from painting to photography, and there's something unique and special for everyone. Those links are listed in the description box and the first thousand of you who click on that link to register will receive an entire month of free access and I've also included a link to my special effects masterclass where I teach you everything from professional face painting to making prosthetics from scratch with stuff available in your house and now let's get back to the tutorial to finish up this look I'm going to be using the beautiful skin bronzer by Charlotte Tilbury just adding some warmth and dimension to this look so I'm mostly going to be using it in the circumference of my face that brings everything together. It'll highlight the center part of your face and it'll add that dimension, giving a nice chiseled look and a nice frame to your face. For blush, I'm going to be using the Mini Mix palette. This is the Glam with Suzanne blush palette by Ofra Cosmetics. And I'm going to be using the shade Punch. For lipstick, I'm going to be using the YSL Rouge Shine Lipstick Balm in the shade 162, which is Plushing Rose Hip, which is a very soft, rosy nude. But before that, I'm going to use a nude shade of brow pencil as my lip liner, which I always use. This is from ColourPop. And I'm going to link all of these products in the description box right below this video. 
And I absolutely love the Visal Lipstick Balm. It is so stunning. It's subtle but stunning. Precisely the kind of lipstick I love and prefer. As you know, I have very thin lips. I don't have any fillers or anything. This lipstick plumps up your lips. That's what I absolutely love. And here is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And if you try this look, please don't forget to tag me. My socials are listed in the description box just below the video. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys. Bye.